Hey, what's up, y'all? Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I was out of town for about four or five days and I couldn't wait to get back to go fishing. So I uh, came back in yesterday, went fishing for a couple hours this morning. I started off with a Ray's Candy Custom Topwater Lure that he paints. He custom paints these and uh, this thing is pretty freaking good looking. And uh, I caught the first red on that, slot redfish. And uh, there's still not a scratch on the lure, so his paint uh, is holding up good. It was only one red, but that's sometimes all it takes to scratch up a, a brand new lure. So I'll put his information uh, in the video description, in the comment section, if y'all want to get some, some custom painted topwater lures. So I caught the first red on that, <clears throat> and then I went off into the marsh a little bit, throwing some real light tackle. Uh, started throwing the, the gulp swimming mullet. This one's a little bit dried up. This is just from this morning, so they don't last very long, you know, one one trip and then they dry up. So the hook is a little bit too big for it because I couldn't find the, the ones that would fit it. So this is a four-aught weedless swim bait hook with a one-eighth ounce weight on it. And <clears throat> it definitely uh, was getting good hookups. It's just that the hook is a little too long. I got it all the way, you know, by its tail. So... Uh, but it ended up working pretty good. So it's a it's a brand new thing, brand new tactic that I'm trying to be able to throw light lures. So I'm using, you know, 10 pound braid, uh, real light action rod and reel, spinning cast. Like I said, it's a it's a Daiwa. Uh, I'll do a, a, an actual breakdown of of the reel and the rod, you know, the lightweight setup on a uh, on a separate video. So the prize giveaway is going to be next on the next video so i'm trying to give you all a little bit more time <clears throat> so uh so yeah i caught caught a few reds and it was good to be back on the water thanks for watching let's go get those lines tight Well, we're getting a little bit of daylight. I'm gonna start going up this shoreline here. I did hear one redfish right here while ago, so that's kind of why I stopped here for a minute. Today is mostly about locating fish. I hadn't been on the water in about five days, so just gonna look for some and, of course, try to catch some too. So we're looking for the big bigger amounts of redfish because I have a guided trip or a trip to guide on tomorrow we'll make a few blind casts around those oysters dude he just missed it did y'all see that Golly, dude. Good red, too. Somebody gonna get it in the mouth here in a minute. I'm fixing to go back out there and anchor. They're definitely in here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 oh boy yeah I missed y'all too man I missed y'all <laughs> I couldn't wait to get back out here and see y'all <laughs> slot red That's the third or fourth strike on, on that top water lure. <sighs> All right, man. You like that Ray's Candy Custom, man? That's a freaking beautiful looking lure.
and then go. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yep, he was following that bait. Oh, pushing that, pushing that bait through there. Oh, boy. Give that light tackle hell. <laughs> I seen you chasing that bait, man. That bait's a dead giveaway. <laughs> He's a slot. Nice red. He's probably 21. 